In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this sunset flare effect using a radial gradient in Photoshop. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that when you're choosing an image to apply this effect to, the easiest ones are ones that have some sort of solar thing in it in the first place. So if I hold Alt or Option, this is the original image, and if I click, that's the added flare. So when there's already a flare in and you apply it, it looks natural, it's easy. Having said that, you can use any image, especially ones that are taken in the evening. Those ones work pretty well too. So for example, this is the original shot of the dog taken in the evening, and this is the added flare, so works pretty good. And to be honest, it actually works on ones that are taken in daylight as well. So this is the original image. If I click here, that's the applied flare. While it's not perfect, it's still a pretty cool effect. Okay, so once you have the image that you want to work with, just head down to this little half circle thing, click on that, and then click on gradient. That's gonna add a gradient fill adjustment layer right here, and it'll open up this dialog box over here. The first thing we're gonna change is style. We're gonna change it from linear to radial, and that'll make it this kind of circle thing here, and then just click on gradient right there. That'll open up the gradient editor, and then we're ready to mess with some colors down here. So what I like to do is keep this one as white, and then on this side, I either make this one black, so to change the color, you click on it and then click in here. So I either make it black or I make it kind of like a funkier color. In this case, I'm gonna make this kind of a more interesting color, so I'm gonna pick kind of like a purpley pink kind of there, maybe even a little bit darker, something like that. And then I'm gonna click OK. And then I add two more boxes in here. One that's like around 20%, so location here around 20%. If you miss, like at 16, you can just slide it along. So somewhere there, and I'm gonna click to change that color to like a yellow, like a pretty vibrant yellow. So right in the top corner here, click OK. And then I'm gonna add another one at about 60% or maybe a little bit more, somewhere around 65%, something like that. And then click on that one, and I make that one kind of like a, an orange, okay? So same thing, top right corner, make it some sort of orange, and then click OK. Now, those colors are not gonna be like set. That's what we're gonna start with. And I also like to adjust some of these. So sometimes I, I'll adjust this the midpoint around. So if you go too far this way, it's gonna shrink the circle down and make the, the transition from one color to the next pretty harsh. So sometimes I like to just drag this one over a little bit to get a little more yellow in. And then especially on this orange one, I'm gonna drag this over a little bit to give that a little bit more transition out there. And you can notice that this side is the transparent side, so opacity is zero, and this is the side that opacity is 100%. That's why we see it fully in color right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna click OK, and now we just have to move this to where we want it. So I'm gonna click right on here, and I'm gonna move it to kinda over here. I think it'll look good for this image, but I kinda wanna line it up so that the yellow, actually, I'm gonna go to scale first, click on scale, I'm gonna scale it up to be a little bit bigger, and then I'm just gonna move it off to the side a little bit more. So I'm trying to line up so that the yellow is kind of on her face, like right this part, and then it's transitioning to like the orange or pink purple as it hits kind of the darker like shadow sides here. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm gonna to go to my blend modes here where it says normal, click on that, and change it to screen. Now if I click on this eyeball right here, we can see that's what we started with, and that's the first part with just the gradient fill, like the flare part. The next thing we're gonna do is grade our image to match kind of the colors that we use within the flare here. So to do that, we're gonna head back down to our little circle thing here, adjustment layers, click on that, and this time we're gonna add a gradient map. This little slider thing's gonna come up, just click on it, and we're gonna map our two, like our darks are gonna be mapped to here. You know this is light right now, and our lights are gonna be mapped to here. And all that map means is we're gonna map it to a specific color. So if I click on this one and click here, our darks were kind of a like burnt orange or like red. So I'm gonna try and kind of match that kind of feel, maybe a little bit more orange, and then click okay. And our lights over here, if I click on this one and click here, our lights were more of like a, that bright yellow. So I'm not gonna stay over here on the bright yellow because I think that looks kind of odd on her face there. I'm gonna go this way a little bit to make it a little bit more natural. So maybe somewhere in there, and then I'm gonna click OK and OK. Then in blend modes here, instead of putting it to screen, we're gonna go, this time we're gonna put it on soft light. 
and then we're gonna adjust the opacity to whatever you think looks good. So I'm gonna drop mine down to like 25% or so, so I can keep some of that yellow in. So I click this eyeball, you can see that it just adds a little bit of, like look in her arm over here, that mapping just adds, right now it's like a little bit kind of purpley blue, and then when we mapped it to these colors, now our darks get a little bit of that kind of burnt orange, like amber in there, and the lights get a little bit of that yellow, especially in here, you can see it. Okay, then we're gonna click on that gradient map layer. We're gonna go Control or Command J to make a copy. We're gonna switch soft light to normal, and then drop the opacity even more. This will add like a little bit of a haze to it. So if you see that's before and that's after, just adds a little bit of haze over top of our image. And now we're ready to put on our final touches, which is just gonna be a curves adjustment. So go back to this, click on it and pick curves. And this is where you can decide if you maybe want to darken your image. Maybe it looks better like that. Maybe you wanna brighten it up. I'm gonna darken it just a touch, but then I'm gonna put another dot up here to just add some contrast. So if you go like this, it's gonna add some contrast. That's obviously too much. So I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit and then bump this down just a bit kind of like that. And then you can go back in here where it says RGB and you can mess with some colors. So I'm gonna go to red and maybe just duck some red out, like just knock it down just a touch. And then I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna see what happens with green. So if I add green, I don't like that. If I take it away, that's too much. So maybe take a little bit of green away and then I'm gonna test blue out. So if I add some blue back in that adds, you know, some of that, some purple kind of creeps in there. And if I take blue away, then it's a little bit more greeny yellow. So I'm gonna just keep it, I'm gonna actually bump it just a bit, just add a little bit of kind of purple feel to it. So if I go down here now and hold Alt or Option and click on this eyeball, you can see that's what we started with. And that's our final copy. But you can obviously still do a few things as well. So let's say I click on this top one, the curves one, hold Shift, click on this one and then click on this folder. I can put them in a group. So maybe you think this is too intense. You can now go into opacity and lower the opacity of everything, like right down to the very start or full intensity. So I'm gonna maybe drop it, you know, just a touch like 95%. And then you can obviously go back into the group and adjust anything you want in here as well. And then if you wanna fancy it up even more, let's just close down the group here, select the group and then hold shift and click on the bottom layer, which is layer zero then go control J to duplicate them and control E to merge them together to create like one image of the final product. Then we'll go up to filter, down to render and over to lens flare. That'll open up this window and you can just take this little cross thing and move it to wherever, but obviously we wanna line it up with our flare right here. You can see the kind of lens flare things right here. You can change the brightness if you want and change what it kind of looks like with these different lens types. I'm just gonna keep it at this one and maybe have it about that bright click OK and you'll see it'll be added onto your image here with these little like lens flare things. And then just like anything else, you can go to opacity and crank that down if you think it's, you know, too prominent. And that's it. That's how you add a simple sunset flare to an image using a radial gradient. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.